Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about duplicate check configuration. So basically what is duplicate check configuration? So whenever we are creating any business partner or material or any object inside MDG, it has to check whether that similar object is there in the existing database or not. If it exists, it has to notify the user that it is already existing as a duplicate. At a certain threshold, like if it is matching to up to 80% accordingly, the threshold also should be maintained. So like that, there will be duplicate check configuration we can configure out of box in MDG. So let's start it. Let's go to MDG MG. First I will show what is the existing change request in our system. So I am going to NWBC or Fury, anything is fine. For now NWBC itself is working, so I am doing it. So you can check in Fury as well, it will be same as that. So here NWBC, I am going to open with customer governance. So I am clicking on this. I got search customer, clicking on search customer here. Now here I can see new button. So I know there is an existing customer which I have created previously. That name is Hindustan stores. So it is already existing in the system. Two are there. Two business partners are there. Now if I am trying to create any uh, new customer with my this custom uh, CR type, I am selecting it and clicking on OK. Now I am trying to create similar customer now and I am selecting any grouping, internal number range I will pick it up, second one. Now we can see after clicking on check, it is not showing any, error, any errors in the system. Now if I click on, this, as this is auto approval CR, we are not having any further approvals here. So as soon as I click on submit, it will get submitted and a, a, a business partner and a customer will get created in the system. So that is not required because it is already duplicate. It is creating created in the system as a duplicate check. So we have to stop this and notify user whether it is a duplicate or not. So if they still agree, agree that they can able to create a duplicate. If not, they can be able to stop that process, that CR at the time itself by previewing the existing duplicate. That's all duplicate check. So let's go to configuration we can do for this. I am going to MDG IMG and here general settings. Inside this we can see data quality and search. I am using, first I am uh, using my custom change request which I have created previously. I am going to process modeling and I will show you. So inside change request create change request type. So that CR type is Z cust1 P1. This one I have created. This is auto approval. So this one I have created. So for this CR type I will maintain this duplicate check configuration. So next time I will when I am uh, checking that I will check with this description CR type only. So that's why. Now I am closing this and going to data quality and search. So inside this search and duplicate check, we can see. Now here, first we have to check define search configurations. So I am going here. SAP has already provided all the search modes. So we are normally using this one in our system, search mode DB. So I am checking this. And inside this, we can see allocation of search help to search applications. So here I can see that MCBP general is already there which is corresponding to general data of business partner. So that's what it is required. My requirement is I want to check from the name itself. Name one if it is already matching with the existing one I have to throw a duplicate pop-up message to the user. Now I will, this is the main part, go to match profile and see if anything is provided by SAP. As I can see, a data model BP is there and SAP has already provided us this match BP central. So let's go inside this and see relevant fields. Because I don't want to make changes to relevant fields, I don't want to touch it now. 
and I will create a new match profile ID now with business partner. So now I am creating data model BP and match profile ID as Z MC underscore BP underscore duplicate check BP central underscore check I will keep like this so I will copy this I will note it down somewhere notepad because it is used in later purpose BP CNTRL underscore check this is the match profile I have created now an entity type is as we know root entity for business partner is BP header I am checking this and text means in a description we can maintain I am maintaining like a business uh, BP duplicate check for customer because this CR type belongs to customer that's it now this has been created now inside this relevant fields I have to maintain that means when we are opening any duplicate check it has to show some fields in the user so to configure that at least we have to know first primarily which field we have to look up on while, do, while showing the duplicate check based on which field anyway our entity type is BP central so I will pick it up BP central So this one now attribute is we want to focus on name one field so that's why I am going to name of organization so first name of organization weight and fuzziness it is not required this is advanced one this is not required for DB for now I am clicking this as mandatory because I want to trigger the duplicate check only if this is maintained in the system if, if this is not maintained then this duplicate check will not trigger at all sequence this is not required I can maintain it as one now let's see what happens save this let's go back I am coming to this mode automatically system will fill zero weightage and zero fuzziness that's it now I am going back going back that's it now I have to go inside second one configure duplicate check for entity types so here I have to maintain that for this data model it is not existing for now I am creating new data model here business partner and entity type as we know we have to, we are using BP header there will be only type 1 entities available here so that's why I am picking this one search mode as we know we we selected db there so here I can take this one now I have created zmc right so I will take this and it will automatically get filled from this profile ID itself now lower threshold and higher threshold means minimum value for which I have to create um, show the duplicate check so how much percentage that's it now search help we have to include because MP based UI means we want to show that UI which is match profile based this one I am clicking on check now we included search help we have to check here it is based on which entity so name one belongs to general data that's why I am clicking on this search help and clicking on enter so system accepted this I am saving this one in my tree tier now I am going back and then I will go to my CR data so I am going to process modeling and then going into configure properties of change request step here change request here I am entering my CR type so my CR type is as we said cust z cust1 p1 this first one I am selecting it 
Now I have to enable that duplicate check configuration for this CR type at first first step itself. So step 00, zero this is initial step and selecting this I'm going to enhancements. So here we can see this one generally sometimes it will be empty like it is not marked as relevant because I have done this previously by default it is coming as relevant. So generally if you are doing for first time it will not be checked by default. So you have to fill this as relevant and then save the changes. Execution exec executed when data changes this is by default. So go back and go back. Now we can see I'm going to customer governance this time. Search customer. I'm going to click on new organization. So I'm cre creating that create customer mode in and then OK. So here I will choose any grouping. Now we can see duplicate check has been um, producing one warning duplicate check wa not possible required fields name of organization is not filled. So I have to fill this name of organization name one is name of the organization. So I am filling it anything test. So for test we can see a lot of duplicate checks are getting triggered. Now I am closing it. Now I will make changes Hindustan stores. It is already existing in the system. So clicking on enter. For this one also it is showing that these are already existing in the system. If we select anything we will have option to switch to duplicate. That means this particular business partner will get opened instantly. I don't want to do that. Now we can see business partner ID is showing and organization name is also showing. So organization name it is showing because we have configured it here in this itself. In this configuration whatever we do it it will show here. So it is fine for now because uh, organization name is coming. For example if you still show some other uh, attribute in this in this duplicate check screen itself. Suppose I want to show set stamps here. Now what I have to do? Set stamps also I want to show inside this particular configuration. So in this case if we want to show any extra attributes in the screen we have another configuration here. We, we have not maintained now. I will show that one as well. Go to set applications. Here we have created inside db match profile. Here inside this go to relevant fields. Here only I am creating new entry here. So in BP central only I want to show BP sort 1 that is set stem 1. I want to show this also in the UI and then don't mark it mandatory. Instead of that we have to mark an extra attribute from search. If we mark this one and click on save. Now this time let's check it. I am going to change mode now. That's it. Now I am closing it and showing the difference again. So leave. Now again new organization. Create customer mode in and click on OK. This time Again I am clicking on internal number assignment. Now we can see same uh, warning appears here. Our name of organization is not filled. So duplicate check is not possible. I am filling this one now and filling search terms as well. So first I will do like this I am keeping T S T A N Hindustan stores. So we can see it has it got triggered in the stand stores here, but we can see it is extra attribute is still not showing in the system. So let's find out what is that configuration now, why it is causing that issue. 
तो एम डी जे आई एम जी जनरल सेटिंग्स इन डेटा क्वालिटी एंड सेट सेच एंड डुप्लीकेट चेक हियर सेच एप्लीकेशंस लेट सी इफ वी हैव डन एनी थिंग मिस्टेक let's add sequence for this so here i am adding instead of uh, name of organization and another attribute also we have to add because name of organization is not only one i am going to add bp central and inside this i will add name one mc name one as well this is also name of organization only so these both i have to define here that's it i am saving it and go back and check this i'm closing it let's check again so customer governance search customer new organization create customer mode in here we can see internal number assignment so here we can see search term 1 is also coming this time first organization name is also coming so now it is running as expected so that point is when we are giving any name one or something we have to give both mc name one and name one field also like uh, organization name both we have to give then it will work as expected so this is extra attribute which is not contributing anything in duplicate check only for display mode this search term one will appear here that's it guys this is the basic duplicate check example so now what i will do this uh, i am selecting any anything here duplicate check found here i am going to click on switch to duplicate then we can see automatically the duplicate from that it got navigated to this particular duplicate one which is already existing in the system so this is the additional feature provided by sap like navigating directly to duplicate that's it guys for this tutorial thank you guys